Hello children. How are you all? I hope you are fit and fine. Children as you all know, we have already spent our long summer break. And uh, uh, after meeting this long break, I would like to introduce myself. From now onwards, I'll teach you maths. So uh, this is your video class and this is your mathematics class. So uh, as I know that we have completed warm up and chapter one. Second chapter we have started few days back that is addition. So children first chapter we have discussed numbers and their names and the second chapter we have started addition. Simple addition we have already done. Exercise 2.1 we have already completed. So children, today we are going to start a new concept. It is not new for you, but it is based on addition, but it's having a new term. That is regrouping or you can say in the other word carryover. So children, before going to start this new topic, I would like to remind you the previous one that is simple addition. So children, let's start. So first of all, we will discuss addition. In the previous class, we have discussed this topic and now we are going to revise how much we have done. Let's revise it. First of all, I would like to tell you this is the concept of maths that is addition and subtraction. So first of all, we will discuss addition. Addition, when you are adding something. So for example, I'll give you a few pencils that I am having. That is there are four pen pencils in my hand, one hand, and four pencils in my other hand. Okay? So here, we should count first. One, two, three, four. And in other hand, one, two, three, and four. So, here you can see, in one hand, four pencil, and in other hand, I have four pencils. So what is the sum of these four pencils and four pencils? So first of all, we should know four in my one hand. Okay, here you can see one, two, three, four. And now four in my other hand, one, Two, three, four. Okay? Now here children you can see. These are the number which are going to add. Okay? Are being add. That is called addend. Okay? Now this is first addend. And this is second addend. Okay, now this is the symbol of addition as you all know, plus sign. Okay, now we should add these 4 and 4 together. So here you can see in my hand we can count easily because it's quite easy for us. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8. Now here, 8 pencils I have. Total, 8 pencils. So this total, or you can say, the result of obtained addition, that is called sum. Okay, addend, the numbers which we are going to add, they are called addends. And the total of, or the result obtained 
by this addition this is 8 and this is called sum okay children so this is the concept of addition now before going to start our topic we should know the place values also as we have discussed in the first chapter already because we are revising this simple concept of addition because the toughest or you can say it's not tough we uh, we can't say tough but we should revise first what ever things will come in this concept so children after this addition simple addition now we should talk about place values how we place these numbers and how we can add in these or uh, you can say we are having a block uh, lined as you all know children we are using block copy and uh, it is quite easy for us to draw a block okay this is the format of our copy now here you can see first unit of numbers is ones tens and hundred and here thousand and so on this is I know you are very well aware about this this place value now children how can we write numbers when we are adding two or three digit numbers so first of all if we are adding eight three two one so eight ones and three tens one ones and two tens so that will become 21 and 38 okay children now we are adding over here we are going to add these two digit numbers 8 and 1 so first of all we will draw something 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 plus 1 okay so now we will count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 now here the answer we will get 9 now here 3 and 2 that we will do on the fingers also it's quite easy 1 2 3 and 1 and 2 or you can do like that 1 2 3 and 1 2 so this is 5 <coughs> I know children this is very easy for you we just reminding all the things whatever we have learned now here we are talking about three digit without grouping addition now if we will write three digit number so how we can write we just add one hundreds so here if we will write one or here three so here you can see hundreds it means eight ones three tens and one hundred so this is 138 now here we have written three hundred two tens and one ones so now we will add one and three so what we will get one two 3 plus 1 so 1 2 3 plus 1 is 4 so sum is of 3 digit addition 459 so here 
we will get 459. Why we are calling this 400? Because this is the sum of this group. Okay. So here 1 and 3 equal to 4. 3 and 2 equal to 5. And 1, 8 and 1 equal to 9. So here what sum we got? We got 459. So this is three digit number without carry. This is simple addition. Two digit number, one digit number we have discussed, we have revised. Two digit number we have revised. Now we are doing this three digit number addition. So children, here we have already done the place value also. Ones, tens, hundreds and thousands and so on. So children, now we should start our topic. So our topic for today class is addition, regrouping, without regrouping and or you can say carry over. So children, let's start. So our topic is addition. with regrouping or carry over. So children, first of all, you should know what is regrouping. Regrouping, first we understand what is regrouping, then we can understand that how we can do this as carryover. So children, let's start. Regrouping can be defined making group of tens. As when the process uh, we are doing in the addition, subtraction, in carryover and borrow. So these type of the things are called regrouping. So children, before going to start our topic, I would like to give you one situation to understand better this concept. So uh, for this, I am going to make something over here that it would be interesting for you. So first of all, how we can regroup or grouping something. So children, uh, we just start this. So here, there are two teams. One team is belongs girl and the other team is you can say boys team. Okay. So here, team A and team B. Okay children? Now team A is the boys team and now team B girls team. Okay? Now here you can see in girls team there is Rita and Rima and now here Rohan and Rahul okay so here children you can see two teams one team is team A which is having two boys Rohan and Rahul and now team B girls team. Now here you can see Rita and Rima. Now here children, we have to decide winners because both team game was over and both team fought together and we have to announce the winner. 
for winner we must know who scored much or you can say who scored less or more so that we will understand and that we will uh, get after the scores of two girls and the scores of two boys now children let's move to the team b so team b scored 60 rita got and team b reema got 89 okay or here we can change 2 62 and 89 okay here team a rohan got 73 and rahul got 29 now we should add because without adding these two boys or girls score we can't get the result so children let's start adding first of all we should know where is ones and where is tens as we have discussed that what we will do in this uh, grouping regrouping because in this we have to separate or we have to make a group of ones and tens and if the number we will get of adding ones 3 and 9 we will get uh, 10 or 12 so we will write once over here and whatever we get more than 9 because 10 is a tens unit uh, tens so once we will write over here and tens we will write over here okay children so this is called regrouping okay now here 9 and 3 first of all we will count 9 and 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 3 1 2 3 4 so let's start counting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 so the answer is 12 now here you can see the 12 is double digit number so this is ones and this is tens so what we will write in ones two and because we are getting the sum only and only addition of 9 and 3 so we will write two over here because here you can see one room we cannot adjust or accommodate more than one number so that is why we just accommodate only two or only ones over here so that is why only for because here you can see uh, we are using block copy or block uh, frame of copies in our maths uh, subject so that is why each and every blocks only and only play uh, place for a single digit so that is why 3 and 9 become 12 here we get sum of these two numbers so 12 now 12 we have written over here 2 and now this one will be carry or you can see over here i just place or i just form a new room for this one here you can see 
one seven two or seven two and one so now here we just see the regrouping of tens now this one is placed over here with the tens because it is more than nine twelve twelve is a double digit number so it is more than nine that is why i replaced over here i just make a new room for this number because we don't have place to write now 7 and 2 now less 3 4 5 6 7 and plus 2 and plus 1 okay now let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now here children you can see again it's a double digit number so what we will add because we are having only and only one room for tens so 7 2 has become 7 and 2 9 and then 10 by adding 1 it will become 10 so now here we will write 0 and because this is 10 is double digit number so will it will move to the hundreds so here you can see 100 so the score is total or you can say the sum of this uh, these numbers or these scores is 102 the score of a team okay now we are moving to the b team b team now here you can see this is obviously a girl team so what kind of sum we will get so we forget to add this symbol now here 9 and 2 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 and 2 1 2 so what we will get 1 2 Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So we will get eleven. Again, you can see this is ones, and this is tens. Okay. So eleven. We are getting eleven because of this is two ones. When we are adding two ones, so we will get one eleven. Sorry. 11 then we will write only one over here because it's a single uh, digit number that is why we are writing over here because we don't have more rooms only one and two rooms we are having so now this number will go here and we are making a room for at the top of these two numbers okay so it is easy for you so you never forget that we should add or we will add this one more number so now 6 and 8 now just count it 6 and 8 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 now what we will get 15 the number is 15 so because we don't have much space so we will just replace over here 5 and then it will move to the hundreds okay hundreds so that is why one we will place over here so you can see 151 and here 102 So who is the winner? Who is the greater number? 
151. Now here, girls team is a winner team. Okay. So I have shown this example only and only for your understanding. How you can place a number which is more than 9. It will move to the ones if it is not accommodate in this particular room then we just carry over to the tens because the answer already come in the double digit number so that is why the first ones we will write with the ones and the next one which is tens which will carry over with these tens and how, how we get 151 because of adding of 9 and 2 and then we got 11 and 1 is carry over over here. 8 and 6 become 14 and 1 is 15. Now here 9 and 3, 10, 11, 12, 2, then 1 is carry over, then 7, 2, 9 plus 10. So what sum we got? We got 102 and 151 here. So who is the winner? Winner is B team. It means girls team. So children from this example we can learn how we just regrouping these similar units. Now here you can see these are ones and these are tens. These are ones and these are tens. So these are all ones. Now here because this is more than 9 because we got answer 12. So that is why the 1 will come inside this tens. So 7, 2 and 1. Now we will get the answer in 100. By this example, what we have understood? That I am going to write on the board addition with regrouping. This is our topic. Or you can say carry over. So now I am going to write on the board. So when sum of the digit of the digit when sum of the digit at once at once tens or at hundreds places more than nine it carry it carry ones to tens tens to tens to hundred hundred to and so on so now children here you can see when sum of the digit at one at once tens or at hundred place is more than nine. So it carries ones to tens, tens to hundred and so on. So children always remember when sum of the digit more than 9 so we will carry we will carry 
1 to 10, 10 to 100, 100 to 1000. So this is called carryover. Okay children? So this is called carryover. Okay? Now I will give you one more example. That is... So this is, this denotes ones, tens and hundred. Now I will write over here seven, this is two and here three and five. So this is the symbol of addition. So here children you can see seven and three. First of all we will count seven and then three we will add 7 and 3 so we will get 10 so 10 is there this is more than 9 so we will write 0 and 1 we just carry over to the tens 5 and 2 is 7 7 and 1 8 so the sum of this Addition will get 80. This is called sum. Okay. So here children you can see one example. So I will give you one more. Eight and three. 11, 1 is carry over, 7 and 1, 8 and plus 9, so 91. So how we are carrying over to the tens because it is the ones unit or you can see in ones we only and only accommodate one single digit number, okay. So that is why because this is the grouping. Or you can say regrouping these things. And regrouping, why we are calling regrouping? Because we just carry over this one to the next tens. Because it is more than 9. This one is more than 9. It's 80. So 80 tens over here. That is why. 0 will be placed over here and 8 will go over here. So 5 to 7 plus 1 is 8. Now here similarly we can see 8 and 3, 11, 1 will carry over to the tens, 7, 1, 8 plus 9. So this is called addition with regrouping or you can say carry over. So I hope it is clear to you. So we will solve few uh, more sum. So let us start. Add 4 137 and 296. So 400, first we will write H T O. It means ones, tens, and hundred. So what is the number? 437. 437 and add 296. 296. It means 437 and 200. 96. Okay, children. So now, and this is the symbol of addition. 7 and 6. 6 and 6 is 12 plus 1 is 13. Because we are getting 13, so that is why we will write in the ones. Then 1 is left, so we will carry over over here. 9 and 3, 12, yes children, 10, 11, 12, 
plus 1 that will become 13 then again we will carry over this thing because we are getting 13 after adding 1. So, we have already done now 13 we got so that is why 3 is replaced over here when 1 is again a carryover then 4 and 2 is 6 and 1 is 7. So, that is how we will do this sum on the basis of carryover. So, children practice it because this is very important for you. So, we should learn that 7 and 6 if it is once it is more than 9 we just carry over to tens if we are getting more than 9 over here so we will carry over to the 100 and so on. So, this is the process of regrouping. This is the process of carryover in addition. So, children we will be continuing this topic in our coming video also. We will discuss in the online classes also because it is not very tough subject or you can say it is not very tough topic but it need practice because we must know how we can carry over any number to the next number. Next uh, you can say the 1s to 10, 10s to 100 and 100 to 1000 how we can carry over. So, today I have only and only introduced this concept and we will be continuing the same topic in our next videos also. So, children watch videos and practice it at your home and complete your homework also. So, children we will meet again. Take care. Bye-bye.